Somebody put this on liquid nitrogen and got some extreme results. It looks like you can jailbreak a Tesla now. And hey, there's the 7800 XT. It's a real boy. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this August 4th, 2023. It's a Friday, by the way. Oh boy, we're done with the trip to LTX. It has been a ton of fun. Ooh, we got back at 3 a.m. We slept, and now we're doing hot news. I don't even remember walking to the bed. He I doesn't. Was just out. I. <laughs> we were both so exhausted. Anyways, what you need to know is that over on our Twitch stream today, we are going to be building both PCs that we're doing giveaways for because of the LTX trip. We have the one sponsored by Micro Center, which we're gonna be giving away next Friday. But then we have the one that was from the sub goals on the stream that we're gonna be giving away today. And you have to be present in chat to win that one. Yes. So if you wanna win, uh, the specs came out to a 7700X and a 4070 Ti. If you wanna win a PC with those specs, well then come join the stream because we're giving it away today after we built it. My shingles aren't, please don't do that again. Oh, but let's talk about the news because I always like talking about little feats and adventures that are going on in the world of extreme overclocking and Scatterbencher hit a world record with the ARC A770 getting this GPU, which is not meant to run more than like roughly in the two, two and a half gigahertz range. Uh, he got it up to 3,586 megahertz. Absolute insane heck? numbers with a lot of tweaking that comes with liquid nitrogen overclocking, hitting 3.6 gigahertz. There is some trickiness, like when it was running 3D Mark, it could go only go up to 3,100 and a bunch of different stuff, but setting world records in a bunch of different applications like Time Spy, Port Royal. He did end up losing in Fire Strike, coming in 13th place instead of first, but still a remarkable Remarkable achievement overall seeing That's wild it is <laughs> it's crazy just number one the engineering that goes into graphics cards in the first place and then number two the amount of technicality and expertise that goes into pushing things past their design limits and just knowing that it doesn't necessarily just die when you try to do stuff like that yeah but only in experts hands so don't necessarily Try it yourself at home. But congrats to Scatterbencher for setting all of those records and congrats to today's video sponsor because they won my heart last night. I'll tell you because today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. My good, after being on the road for eight days straight and sleeping either in hotel rooms or in my truck, I cannot tell you how happy I was to get right back in my Dusk Lux mattress from Helix Sleep. I've had this thing for over two years and I can tell you that last night's sleep was just as good as the first night's sleep. That thing was waiting for me here in Pennsylvania when we first moved here and I just, I continue to love everything about it. And I think you will too, because with Helix Sleep, you can get a mattress that's catered to your exact sleep needs because you can take their sleep quiz and identify what type of sleeper you are, additionally, what type of mattress you enjoy, and they will get you paired up with a mattress that fits your needs, which for me and my wife who took it together, I'm a side sleeper, she's a front sleeper, I like medium, she likes firm, we ended up on the Dust Lux mattress and it has been phenomenal, again, literally every single night. And I can't understate just how good a good night's sleep is, not only after the severe deprivation we had, yeah. but also additionally, just for making sure that you're at your peak efficiency and performance every single day as somebody who has to run a business, manage his family and a whole bunch of other stuff on the side. Making sure I'm rested is one of the number one things that I'm willing to spend a lot of money on. You spend a third of your life doing it, but with Helix Sleep, you're getting a premium mattress. It's customized to fit your needs and it conveniently ships to your door. With free shipping in the US, the mattress will come rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set up. It's really fun to watch it expand when you pull it out. You got to do that when you had yours. How much do you miss yours? Cause you can't sleep in it right now cause my mother in law is sleeping in that bed. A lot. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> and there's also a hundred night sleep trial so you can test out the mattress to ensure you love it. And they have a 10 year warranty. So you can be confident in that as well. They also offer financing options and flexible payment plans so that your great night's sleep is never too far away. I love my Helix sleep mattress. Reese, you loved yours when you had it. You don't have access to it right now. We'll change that soon. A special place in my heart. And I think you will too. You can check them out using my link down below, helixsleep.com forward slash UFD tech to get 20% off your Helix mattress, plus two free pillows, which I forgot to even mention. They're, they're dream pillows. That's what I was sleeping on. I brought my dream pillow with me to sleep in the truck while we were driving to LTX and back. 
I saw you with that. Band. Oh, I love it so much. It's been it's been a lifesaver on these long road trips that we take. And then coming back to my Helix Sleep mattress, I cannot tell you how I'm excited I am. And I think that you will be too. So check them out again at helixsleep.com forward slash UFD tech. And you can get 20% off plus those two free pillows. Killer deal. And just as much as I'm excited, about Helix Sleep mattresses. I'm also excited about the resurgence that we're seeing in the PC world when it comes to who's playing on what hardware because the Steam hardware survey came out. We already talked about how the mm -hmm. 7900 XTX debuted in 93rd position. Uh, the 4090 is like four or five times as popular as that. But one of the interesting things we're finding out is that Mac gaming has now lost out to Linux gaming. Interesting. Very cool. Obviously, Steam OS is 42% of Linux gamers, which makes a lot of sense, but it's it's good to see that Linux gaming is at least surging. We're not close to Linux being mainstream, but it, I, I do like seeing the advancement because more options is more better for more people. Yeah. And in case you want the more option of being on Windows, which is kind of the default for people, they are now rolling out their Copilot AI taskbar thing that you can chat to. If you're a Windows 11 beta tester, you can talk to OpenAI's chat GPT. It's now gonna be in the latest preview build. The reason I bring this up, we knew that Copilot was coming. I'm actually just curious, now that we're several months deep into chat GPT, GPT being out, 3.5 for all of that kind of being rolled out. Have you found that your usage of AI, chat GPT, large language models, even like the image ones like Dolly or Midjourney, has that declined because the novelty has worn off? Has it increased because the utility has continued to go up for you? I'm really curious what your specific use case with AI like this how is it? Is it actually helping you out? I know Zach was trying to figure out an alien movie. You were sleeping during this. He, he was trying to remember an alien movie that he watched and he was talking to ChatGPT and trying to get it to give him the name of the movie. Had no clue what he was talking about. Trying to figure out the actress involved yeah, and all that. Our yeah. Twitch chat figured it out, which yeah. if Twitch chat's beating open AI, hey, oof. But you know what I'm not beating? This transition to UFD deals. Yoink. <laughs> hey friends, welcome back to UFD Deals. I'm so sleep deprived that I couldn't even think of that. That was the words I wanted to say. <laughs> but hey, we got deals and welcome to the first one. We have another Acer monitor deal with this one being their 31 inch, 144 Hertz 2K IPS monitor, overclockable to 170 Hertz when using DisplayPort. You can pick this one up for only $209.99 with the included promo code, making it $140 off. And next we have the Corsair HX850. This fully modular 80 plus platinum power supply is going for only $124 dollars and 99 cents with the included promo code making it 60 dollars off for honestly a phenomenal power supply and then lastly for you laptop gamers we have the pny accelerate gaming 32 gig kit of ddr4 ram running at 3200 megahertz at cl20 going for only 54 dollars and 99 cents making it 20 dollars off and a little laptop love for you ram. gaming lovers loving gaming lovers loving gaming lovers transition back Shoot, I'm awake. Let's get a nap. You know what's a better deal than all of that? What if butter. you got 15 butter dogs? Yeah, <laughs> butter dog. $15,000 in free Tesla software. Have you wanted that? It turns yeah. out that some security researchers have figured out how to hack the media control unit that is in the latest Tesla cars because it uses some Ryzen processors. Turns out that there's a severe vulnerability when it comes to actually voltage glitching these chips and makes it Ooh, so boy. that you can get into the MCU and do a whole bunch of jailbreaking and manipulation with them saying that they gained root permissions to enable arbitrary changes to Linux that survive reboots and updates. They allow an attacker to decrypt the encrypted NVMe storage and access private user data, such as the phone book calendar entries, etc. So there is some security vulnerability, but there, there's also a lot of uh, upside, including the fact that you can get the acceleration boost, which is $2,000 upcharge normally, making your zero to 60 time faster. You could additionally get enhanced autopilot, which is $6,000, or full self-driving, which is $15,000. And according to reports, this is unpatchable. It's a hardware glitch in the MCU. But even more than that, according to reports, it's actually not something that Tesla can subvert because normally what they would do is make it so that like, um, if there's a salvage Tesla or something's broken, you can't supercharge. You're not allowed to use their network. They lock you out so yeah. you can only use it. Uh, this can override that. You can, if you have a salvage Tesla, you can override it and just use the supercharger network. It doesn't matter. Wild. Yeah, so Tesla probably doesn't have a whole lot they can do besides void your warranty, which 
if you're at the end of the life, why not voltage glitch it and get all of the extra features that you didn't pay for? I don't know. Jailbreaking your car for all the car DLC. Which this brings up like a very intriguing moral slash ethical question. All of this is baked into the hardware level of the vehicle. You technically paid for it. I don't think anybody would bat an eye for like upgrading the ECU or doing some sort of modification on a gas powered vehicle. Why is it any different to just flick a switch on the acceleration boost to get a faster zero to 60 on these cars. What do you think? Would you do it if you could? If you knew how to voltage glitch a Ryzen MCU? Let me know down below in the comments. It's an intriguing thing. We'll keep you updated and see how Tesla responds to that whole deal if and when they do. And I'm gonna respond to the 7800 XT. Real. We talked about in yesterday's episode of Hot News that AMD said that this would be coming at some point, and now PowerColor has revealed leaked big mistake showing off the 7800 XT. We got some details of the Red Devil GPU. It looks good, like, like all the other 7000 series ones that we have, but we also have the specs of this GPU now, finally. It has a lot of similarities to the 7900 GRE that we've been talking about, including that 16 gigabytes of VRAM, but this enthusiast level GPU will have 60 compute units, which is 20 fewer than the GRE, making it about 70% of the capabilities of the 7900 XT. Again, it has 16 gigabytes of VRAM at the same speed, so you get 576 gigabytes per second. With the 7900 GRE selling for 649, one would expect the 7800 XT to hopefully come in at the 549 to 499 region, which would mean it's competing with a 4070. I don't know. I I mean, I we know the specs. We know how this is going to perform. It's going to do really decently. It just comes down to is AMD willing to undercut price and make it so that it's a no brainer versus the 4070? Or are they going to do what they've done every single generation, which is put it at a yeah, I guess that makes sense price point and then just continue to enable Nvidia being able to be the number one GPU seller because everybody's just like, well, AMD can't do drivers, so I'm going to buy Nvidia instead. Ha ha ha. That's what happens when you don't price it to be actually competitive and you price it to be just within a few percentage points of your competitor. I don't know. What price point do you think the 7800 XT has to come in at in order to make it a no brainer versus Nvidia? The price versus the 4070 if, if there's any argumentation that, like that's been the beauty of the 6950 XT. It, for the most part, was a no-brainer versus the 4070. Unless you needed high power efficiency, low power draw, and you needed a small GPU, the 6950 XT was just such a smart choice in gaming performance. I really wanna see the 7800 XT hit that same level, hopefully closer to the $500 mark. I feel like I'm dreaming, which is what I wanna do right now, because I wanna go sweepy. Don't forget, we are doing the PC giveaway over on Twitch uh, today. So you have to be present in order to win the sub goal PC, the Micro Center PC giveaway that was signed by Linus, his team, other YouTubers that we got at LTX. That'll be given away next week. We'll love to have you over on our Twitch streams. They're a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> what does that laugh? I just, we streamed for like a week straight and I'm, I'm just tired, man. I am so sleepy. Okay. Transition back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? My, uh, my, yeah. My, <laughs> uh, it's all chaos.